Yeah. Mike Tyson. No. <laughs> you gonna fight Mike? Or uh, Jay Leon. Oh, you're gonna be uh, under under undercard with, uh, with. Why would it be an undercard? No, you're right. You're right. You're, good point. Good point. Jay Leon, love. What? Uh, how does that fight go, man? In a boxing ring. Dirty. Dirty? <laughs> I'm gonna make that a dirty fight for him. Yeah, man. What do you think about Tyron? Does Tyron uh, uh, kind of play with uh, Jake Paul, or is it? I don't a think it's a fight? play thing. It it's not a play thing. Um, Jake's a real boxer, and he's got a good team behind him. He's got a great team behind him, and that's the most important thing. I know T. Woodley has a great team behind him as well, and he's making the right um, moves, I'm sure, because he is a five-time world champion. And uh, I think he has a lot of power that he'll understand that he won't be able to land at first and he'll be able to find it in the later rounds. So I think he would be smart enough to get it done. Quick uh, uh, UFC question, man. Uh, Conor McGregor versus uh, Portier, how does that? Uh... Recording me by the trash cans, man. That's good. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm standing in the right spot. Conor versus uh, Portier, man. How does that go? Uh, Conor versus Portier, man. It's so easy to think that Connor can make the comeback that nobody would want him to make and he could get the finish on a guy he's finished before. His mind hasn't been the same as he was in the beginning. I'm going through something like that, so like I can feel like I definitely want to come back. I kind of want to, I rock with both uh, the talented martial arts that they are. Dustin Poirier is so seasoned. I definitely could see him winning it again. And it's like a 50-50 split, but it it's like it's bigger if the bigger star Connor gets the gets the win and becomes the champ again. Or then he then what he fights Oliveira, which why does it feel like Connor can land those shots on Oliveira? Why does it feel like that could happen? You, you think Connor Oliveira goes to, to Connor if it if it gets to that point? I don't know if Connor will if, if Connor beats Dustin. Somehow he'll get the title without fighting all of it. I don't know. <laughs> In Ganu uh, versus Jones, if it happens, it sounds like it might be Derek Lewis first, but Man. that's kind of the fight everyone's talking about, right? Yeah, if that if that would even come to fruition, but uh, man, John Jones is John Jones. I would want him to win that fight. No disrespect to Ngannou, who's a great man as well. He's a great champion. He's a powerful guy. Definitely has the power to beat John, but you know, we've never seen John falter. And I would want to see someone keep that, uh, keep that greatness, man. John, and I met John before, and you know, he's a good guy. So I like John. I met Francis too, but he gave me a ride in his BMW oh, back, that's cool. back from the UFC PI. But uh, <laughs> so they're both really what cool you guys dudes. Talk about on the ride. But I can see John like taking his back, maybe, right. and getting the finisher or something. Who knows? But. Um, we didn't talk about much, man. I don't. I don't ask many questions. I answer them, though. Right? <laughs> yeah, you do, man. I, I appreciate questions. it. My, my last question, man. Uh, talking about John Jones, who who is the pound for pound best in MMA, uh, in your opinion? And, and including like the the ladies, like Amanda Nunes. I feel like I'll, I'll tell you personally. I feel she's the best. You know, boy out girl, here in the know, street is me. Okay. Of course, of course. I'm, I'm saying in, in the octagon. And any somebody I might not want to fight would be John <laughs> Jones. You know. Yeah. I mean, 15. Uh, World title, um, what do you call that? Like defenses, you know what I'm saying? So Khabib did great, but like there wasn't, we didn't get to see him fight someone at their best or something, you know what I mean? Like I think, I mean, Justin Gaethje was hitting him and it wasn't affecting him, but he looked so much bigger. I guess he just, I don't know, it's, it's how you put it on paper and it, with guys like Khabib and Floyd Mayweather, it's like they've won on paper and contract before they've ever even stepped foot in the ring. So, you know, it's weird how they do that. I get in there and I get with the shit. Right. Tell the fans, man, where they can follow you, brother. Uh, Instagram, me yeah, at Platinum Mike Perry, and uh, Twitter at Platinum Perry. You know what I'm saying? I probably won't respond, though. I just, <laughs> I just post. Uh, I've been quiet, man. I haven't been wanting to talk. I want to get ready for a fight. That's what I want to do. That's how I've always been. I don't want to talk. I'm talking now, but, like, <laughs> camera's in my face and shit. And, I, and ain't nobody going to fight here today. They came to talk. That's what it's about. That's the business. I got to learn. Sure. I appreciate the time, champ. Thank All you, right. brother.